Hi, in this video we are going to see the gardening tools that I use in my community garden. These tools makes the gardening work easier and quicker and we don't have to buy all these tools for our garden work. In our community garden uh, we are uh, three four gardeners we bought these tools together and we are using it because most of the times these tools are not used. We use it only in the beginning of the soil preparation and only in few times of the day. So sharing these tools are better option. The first tool we are going to see is the garden shovel. These are in different sizes. There are a small handle and the long handle one. I have two long, long handle uh, shovels which can be used for the garden work. And I prefer the one that has the pointy edge because it helps uh, push through the soil easily and it goes well deeper into the soil. Using the shovel is easy. We have to press the shovel with our legs and it goes into the soil and then we have we, we can tilt it little so that it breaks the soil. So as we dig the soil we have to walk backwards and put the soil in the front. When we plant new plants or uh, when we sow the seeds we can dig up to one feet to loosen the soil and this will help the plants to uh, put the roots deeper into the soil. It will be easy to dig the soil after a day or two after the rain so that the soil will be soft. It is not that we can dig only one feet uh, depth with this uh, shovel. We can dig uh, one feet and then we can remove the soil and then we can keep digging so that we can make a bigger hole. Next one is the garden shoes. When working in the garden, it's advisable to wear a shoe to protect us from the insect or uh, snakes or any sharp objects that may be there in the soil. And also when using the garden shovel like this, we have to use the garden shoes because the normal shoes can get damaged. Next tool is the rake. This has teeth edges with the long handle and uh, this is used to till the soil after the soil is dug using the shovel and also it is used to remove the weeds uh, from the soil and also uh, to break the soil into small pieces. I also use this tool to mix the manure well with the soil so that I can just stand in one place and I can cover 6 to 7 feet uh, distance around me. The next tool is the hoe and uh, cultivator combo tool. It comes with the two tools in a single uh, thing. It can be used to remove the weeds and uh, loosen the soil on one side. And on the another side it can be used to dig the soil for sowing the seeds or it can be uh, used to dig the soil to uh, apply the fertilizers. Uh, once the plants are grown we cannot use the big tools around the plants because the roots will be damaged. In such cases we can use the small tool. Next tool is the hand cultivator tool. This can be used to loosen the soil around the plants and also it can be used to remove the weed plants around our plants. If we can also use this tool every uh, 7 days or 10 days to loosen the soil so that that can reduce the growth of the weed plants. Uh, next tool is the trowel. It is used to dig the soil uh, for sowing the seeds. And also in some cases we can use it to transplant. We can dig the plant in the ground and we can use it for transplanting. Next uh, scissor and rope. These are very essential things for our garden and we have to keep it handy all the times when we are in the garden. So these uh, the scissors are mainly to cut the rope or uh, plant uh, br small branches of the plant. And the rope is used to uh, used when we build the trellis or uh, when we tie the plant, uh, fallen plant uh, with the stick. Next one is straps. Sometimes I use straps to tie the stick so that it's uh, stronger and it's quick to use rather than using the rope. Uh, this is a weed cutting tool that I use to cut the weed plants when they start to grow. We will see this in another video. Next one is knee pad. Knee pad can be used to support our knees when we are not able to stand in the garden for a long time. In such case we can use knee pad or when we are doing the transplanting or uh, uh, removing the weed plants around us. In that case also we can use a knee pad. Yeah, next one is gloves. It's essential when touching the garden soil or any tools in the garden. Uh, gloves can protect our hands from uh, small damages from the sharp objects or uh, uh, glass particles in the soil and also to protect our hands from the germs or uh, any insects in the soil. 
next one is force force is needed for our garden if our garden is large or if you have many plants in your garden and when buying the hose we have to check the distance between the uh, water pipe and the garden and based on that we have to choose uh, 25 feet 50 feet or 100 feet uh, hose also different quality hoses are available like uh, medium duty heavy duty like that we can choose based on our preferences if we don't want to use the hose then we can use the watering cans watering cans have advantage over the uh, hose because watering can will be just pouring the water around the plant so it reduces the growth of the weed plants but in case of using the uh, hose we will be spilling the water everywhere in the garden and that helps. next tool is the pruner or uh, trimmer when using the scissor it will be difficult to cut the thick branches or uh, the stems of the plant in that case we can use a pruner pruner is very easy to use it is a big stem that i am cutting and uh, the pruner it cuts the big stems easily yeah, now we have come to the end of the video we have seen all the tools that i am using in my community garden and these are all optional tools only we can choose whatever tools is needed for our garden and if you have any questions please post your questions in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and uh, please do share this with your friends thank you